Russia's top secret Ka-65 Minoga helicopter is expected to become the next generation of submarine hunting assassins, to replace the aging Ka-27 Helix. The Komov Ka-65 Minoga is envisioned as a multi-role ship-based helicopter, capable of performing search and rescue, troop transport, anti-submarine warfare missions, surveillance and other roles. Pictures of the first prototype emerged in 2019. Currently Russian Navy operates around 90 Ka-27 series helicopters of all variants. Also a number of these naval helicopters are used by various other countries, including Algeria, China, India, North Korea, Vietnam. So there could be some export potential for the new Ka-65. Revealed information about the new helicopter shows that it has a similar design to its predecessor, with a coaxial propeller configuration. This feature allows to eliminate a tail rotor and reduces footprint of the helicopter on ships. Currently only Russia produces helicopter with such coaxial rotor configuration. This helicopter will be operated by a crew of two. Power is set to come from a pair of in-development Klimov TV7117VK turboshaft engines, rated up to 3,750 horsepower each, and these will be carried over the fuselage and used to power both three-bladed main rotors. The Ka-65 has provision to carry various weapons, including torpedoes, anti-ship missiles or guided anti-submarine bombs. The helicopter's versatility allows it to take on the same multi-role on the water surface, as the Ka-27, but with more performance. Due to the widespread use of composite materials, the Minoga will be lighter than the Ka-27, but it will be able to carry a larger load. Most likely the Ka-65 will be controlled by the Bark 6 digital automatic system. The preliminary design of the helicopter will be largely traditional, the flight deck will be aft of a short, heavily windowed nose section with side-by-side -side seating for the operating crew of two. The passenger section will incorporate five viewing windows to each fuselage side, and have hinged entry exit doors for both flight crew and passengers. Over the lower sides of the fuselage will be featured sponsons housing the main landing gear legs, while a twin-wheeled nose leg will be positioned at its usual place under the nose. In addition to the Ka-65 program, the Russian Navy is also building a pair of new helicopter carriers that are being completed under the name, Project 23900. The new ships will have no fewer than eight landing spots aboard their flight deck, and be outfitted to tackle the amphibious assault role, while supporting attack, transport, and support helicopters. Yeah.